Hello Taurus, this is your mid-month. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. That would be much appreciated. Please show me messages for Taurus. Okay. All right. Okay. Cards are jumping out there. A lot to say. I see. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. The recent past happenings. Hmm. It's crowning you. It's coming in for you guys. Let's see how you're in this situation, the influence there. Oh, okay. We got two cards, I believe, here for your hopes, your fears. Okay, and then that came out like that. That's going to be the overall. It's a lot going on with you guys, I feel, here. Okay, let's see what's going on around you right now. Mm, the star in reverse so I feel like this is either you guys losing hope about a situation or someone else could be an Aquarius individual that um, that you guys are thinking about currently uh, this is this is needing to um, possibly let go of some things in order to be able to heal even okay feeling very disappointed in a situation what's challenging you or crossing you is the seven of pentacles i feel like this is all about you guys this energy right here is something that you um cannot help okay this is external to you so there's something i feel like that Maybe there is somebody else that is feels like this situation is a lost cause. Maybe you both feel like it's a lost cause. But I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles crossing you, this is you guys, okay? This is you guys waiting for something to happen. I feel like there's something that you've left up to the universe, to God. Um, almost like you've taken your hands off of it and you're just waiting for something to happen. I feel like this is all about you guys making something happen. Like the, the, This is something that you can't help. You don't have to sit back and wait if this is you. Okay, um, this is this is investing your time, uh, trying to grow something, trying to change something, okay, for the better. That is what that is, okay. So either you or someone else, I'm feeling, if not both of you, have lost hope in a situation, okay. And and your what's crossing you is basically that is hope. Is hope. Is, is doing something, is planting a seed to grow something, to change something in this situation. So I'm feeling like if you guys are feeling powerless, um, I don't feel that you're powerless. I'm feeling like, like there is something that can be done to change this situation because I do feel like there is... Um, there is a soulmate, a strong soulmate involved um, for you guys here, okay? Now, the underlying issue or the past issue is the King of Swords energy, okay? Strong Aquarius in your reading could also be Gemini or Libra, but I'm feeling very strong Aquarius energy in your reading. Um, this is all about, if this is not a person, this is about not speaking up not not saying the truth not um talking things out okay not being in your power or standing in your power you or the other person that's involved in the situation and quite possibly both of you just not having a conversation 
not having a truthful, open conversation. This could also be um, an issue of not really expressing or showing emotions. Okay. Now, how you're viewing this situation currently is a four of swords. I'm feeling like this is you guys feeling like, you know, you've been through a lot. Um, you're not trying to rock the boat. You're not trying to have any conflict. I'm feeling that, you know, you're healing from a situation where you were very hurt. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like you're also feeling like there's nothing that you can do. There's nothing that you can do. Your hands are off of it. Everything is quiet between you and this person. So I'm, I'm getting that the issue is that there is no conversation happening. There's nothing being talked out. Okay. I don't feel like you guys are speaking. The recent past is a Seven of Cups energy. Confusion. Confusion emotionally. I do feel like there are emotions that have not been addressed. Somebody here does not know how the other person feels and it may be vice versa. It may go both ways, you know. Being that you guys probably are not speaking, you both are probably feeling a little confused about, you know, if the other person still cares or if the other person is still interested. If the other person still wants to invest, if they still feel like you're their soulmate, or you know, vice versa. Okay. Now, what's crowning you is the Eight of Wands. Hmm. This is all about change. Wanting, wanting to. I feel like wanting to end something. Wanting to, I feel like, end the stagnancy that's currently going on in this situation. You want to see movement. You want communication. I feel in this situation. Um, you want to break the silence. In some of your cases, some of you want to actually travel to this person. Or this is the person, your person, wanting to travel to you and have open and honest communication. Okay loving communication what's coming in for you guys here is the four of wands happiness this is like stability but this is like doing the necessary work to get to this communication traveling talking putting in um, the action that is needed in this situation because right now like I said it's very stagnant it's quiet okay not a lot going on. Not a lot going on at all. I feel like there is definitely a relationship or marriage here um, that is of concern to some of you. Hmm. Let's see what the influence is here. The Hierophant. Yeah, very strong relationship very strong relationship that some of you want. This is your card. You want that happiness. And I'm feeling like you want that happiness back. Maybe some of you guys have moved away from the person that is, um, you know, very important to you. Or either you guys have, have grown apart so till there's a lot of confusion surrounding where you guys actually stand with this person could be an Aries individual that is um, significant to you guys Sagittarius is here as well as uh, Libra and Scorpio energy I feel a strong a strong bond um, with you and your person Taurus and I feel like whatever whatever you guys are feeling, you know, and I'm saying you are the other person, but I'm what I'm getting is that it's like you guys are parallel. So what you're going through, they're going through as well. I'm just feeling that strongly, okay? Let's see what your hopes 
four fears are. Um, we have the High Priestess and the Empress in reverse. That there will not be a new start. That there will not be a new start here. That this person does not feel the same. There will be no clear understanding um, to get past the roadblock. I feel a strong roadblock and there's a strong blockage here. Your fear is that you guys will not come out of this together. There will be no growth. There will be no new start. And that this person may, if you communicate that you want a new start with them, that they may possibly tell you that they don't. They don't want to start over. That um, they see no growth with you. They see no new beginning with you. I don't get that, though. I really don't get that. You feel like there's there's not going to be um, a situation that you guys can actually come back together and even have a discussion in, like it's like it's not written in the in the stars or something like that. Is what I'm hearing here. But I don't get that at all. I don't see that at all here. I see that um, you know the power this can be changed you don't have to wait if this is you or if this is a cross watcher you don't have to wait you don't have to sit here you can move to the eight of pentacles and really actually start trying to to try to build something here to put in the time okay you don't have to wait now the overall is a three of wands in reverse. Three of wands in the upright, that is waiting. That is waiting for somebody to come to you. Three of wands in reverse is you going. You going to get what you feel like you deserve the person that you feel like you want to be with going to get them is what this is if this is a cross watcher vice versa okay guys so um that's aries energy we have also i think i've already said taurus um maybe other taurus like yourself libra energy pisces is here um Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aquarius is strong as well. Okay, guys, I think I already said Sagittarius energy. But that is what I have for you, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.